If you're one of my original followers, I'm talking from way back in the day, you no doubt know that this channel started off by tackling home theater topics. But in the last year or so, we've been a little bit more two-channel audio oriented. And, and that's fine because over time I have simplified things, but that isn't to say that I am done with home theater. In fact, you no doubt have noticed that we have started to trickle a couple of home theater topics into this channel because I'm getting back into it. Yeah, boy! But I'm not getting back into it the way I used to. That is using commercial grade loudspeakers or totally insane rigs with surround sound processors and D-Cinema projectors. That's not the type of home theater that I am getting into right now. We make the rules, not you. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe down the road, we will tackle those types of topics again, but I actually wanted to see just how affordably, one, a person like myself who knows about home theater, who maybe has had even the best of the best of the best, how affordably I can get back into home theater. And I have to tell you, I think I may have found one of the best speaker systems on the market right now if you are looking to build a home theater on a budget. And that is the topic of today's review, so let's get into it. So like I said in the intro, this channel started off as a home theater centric channel. And that makes sense because at the time I was the managing editor of a home theater publication and had been for the better part of 10 years. But obviously I have gotten away from home theater in recent years, favoring more two channel audio because, well, you know, times and tastes do change. But that isn't to say that I was done with home theater. And I, I knew I wanted to get back to it. And for whatever reason, in the past couple of months, I've really had the itch to discuss home theater topics again. But I didn't want to get back into the home theater game the same way I had back then, which is dedicated systems, dedicated rooms, bigger than life sound, separates the whole nine yards. And I know some of you watching this may be like, ah, Damn it, that's what we wanted. This being my first foray back into home theater, I wanted to do something just a little bit differently. And that is how I came across today's loudspeaker system, the Yamo S803 HCS speaker system. That is what we are reviewing today. I discovered it through Christy, through Instagram, and through Google. It kind of all came at me all at once. And I know about Yamo. I've heard the name, the brand is one that has been around for some time, but this speaker system, this small bookshelf oriented five channel speaker system was one that I just wasn't familiar with. And I was shocked when I went on Yamo's website to discover that the entire speaker package has a retail price of $459, no matter what finish it's in, which is black, white, or walnut, all three of which in my humble opinion are gorgeous. But what made it even sweeter is right now online through authorized retailers, a lot of these packages are markedly less expensive. Specifically the 803 HCS that I'm reviewing today, I was able to snag on Amazon for $199. I know, an entire home theater speaker system minus a subwoofer for less than $200. So obviously I added that bad boy to cart and primed it all the way to my front door, and that is why we are talking about it today. But if you are looking to have a little bit larger of a home theater system, or you want to complete the HCS system with a subwoofer or maybe Atmos modules, I will link to all of the pieces that you need down in the description below. In fact, anything and everything that we talk about in these videos is always going to be linked down in the description below. And while you're down there, real quick, do me a favor, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe so that you're notified when new home theater videos hit this channel. And if you are a regular to this channel, you know that we don't always talk about specs in great detail because frankly, you don't listen or in this case, watch movies to specs. You watch movies and you listen to their soundtrack. But I do know that specs matter and there are a lot of different speakers in the 803 HCS package. So here are the individual specifications for each speaker. And when we come back from the break, we're gonna talk about how they sound.
Now, before we get into how the Yamo S803 system sounds, I do want to point out its design because let's face it, a lot of budget oriented home theater speaker packages or home theaters in a box are not the most stylish. They are very, very basic. And the 803 system is not that. In fact, the 803 system, no matter what finish you get it in, is decidedly mid-century and modern. And I love it. I am not the biggest proponent of all black loudspeakers. I kind of think they're hmm, a little bit drab. But the walnut accent on even the black 803s is phenomenal. And it dresses this otherwise unassuming little speaker up quite a bit. And I absolutely love the Heather magnetic grills that Yamo is employing throughout their studio and concert series lines. I think it is fantastic. And I really wish that more brands would dress up the grills and see them as the accessory in the looks department that they are. And the little mid-century cues don't stop there. Hell, even the center channel has these tiny little, albeit fake, walnut feet that again, just lends itself to a sense of style and kitsch, actually, that makes this a loudspeaker system that you don't want to hide away. So how does it sound? I have to tell you that for $200, hell, it's asking retail price of $459. I actually think the 803 HCS system is great. It's absolutely phenomenal, but let's break it down into the basic elements, starting with bass. And let's face it, this is where this system kind of pulls up short in that it doesn't really have any because none of the speakers in the 803 system have a lot of bass to speak of on their own. In fact, the 803, the largest of the two-way bookshelves in this setup only reaches down to like 60 hertz or something, which isn't really you know, impactful bass makes. So this is why I say that you are going to want to add a subwoofer in order to round out this system. So we almost can kind of skip right over bass because it doesn't really have any on its own to speak of. Now in the lower mid range is where this system does start to become rather good. And it has a very punchy lower mid range and that, that kind of disguises its lack of true bass. So maybe in small rooms or like a bedroom, you could get away with this system without needing a subwoofer, but in anything larger than say an eight by 10 bedroom, you're going to notice a lack of bass. But the lower mid bass in this system is incredibly punchy to make up for that. Now the mid range itself is good. It's solid, it's very clear. It has an incredible amount of articulation but it is not free of coloration. The cabinet makeup on a system in the 803's price range can only be so inert. And as a result, at higher volumes, it is possible to hear a little bit of boxy resonance and cabinet coloration in the all too important mid range. I want you to know that at higher volumes, you do get a little bit of chestiness in the mid range. And the best way to describe it is sometimes the voices do this and it, it, it's not uncommon. Okay. It's not uncommon for speakers in this class. And like I said, it's not wholly distracting, but it, I can't say that the mid range out of the 803 HCS system is neutral or color free because it isn't. It isn't, but we have to set our expectations appropriately because we are talking about an ultra affordable speaker system here. Now, in terms of high frequencies, I have found this to be true with pretty much every Yamo speaker that I have heard up until this point, including Yamo's own higher end concert series, and that there is a lot of high frequency energy present here. And for home theater use, I actually think that that's a really good thing because let's face it, you get a home theater because you might be more or less into Hollywood blockbuster movies. And a lot of those types of films have very, very sharp detail in them, specifically when you listen to explosions or gunfights or things like that, like shattering glass, all of that. You want a little bit of high frequency information. You want that little bit of tipped up detail. And the 803 HCS system has that to give. But it also lends just a little bit of a certain kind of sharpness to dialogue, which helps or aids in dialogue coming through just a little bit more clearly. And so if you are someone that's like, oh, modern movies lately, they're just, they're, they're a little bit more difficult to understand. But that don't bother me so much because it's a little bit tight, but we can do it and it will be spectacular. <laughs> I'll say you worry about that. 
I would consider something like the 803HCS because it does kind of gravitate just a little bit more to the forward side in the upper mid-range and treble region, which favors clarity in dialogue. But again, on a whole, on a whole, there's a little bit of a mid-bass hump, a little bit of a high-frequency hump, which does create a little bit of a valley or leanness in the mid-range, which lends itself to some clarity, a little bit of sharpness. But on a whole, the balance between all five speakers is nice. That is to say, the coherence between all five speakers is largely, if not completely, seamless, which is what you want in a home theater speaker package. Dynamically, if you have the requisite power in your AV receiver, the dynamics capable of being reproduced through the 803 system are phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Add a subwoofer and, well, this speaker system sounds so much larger than its actual physical footprint. And that's what you're looking for in a small speaker package such as this. And in terms of soundstage, well, soundstage is a little bit different when we're talking about home theater, isn't it? Because we're not looking at two speakers to create a three-dimensional sound space. We're relying on five to do it for us. And as a result, the 360 degree sound field, as I mentioned just a moment ago, is largely seamless and completely coherent speaker to speaker. So when an object travels from back to front or front to back, there isn't any real sonic gap that you have to contend with. And that is exactly why you would potentially buy a system like the 803 or any surround sound system from the same manufacturer to ensure that you get that seamless sonic 360 degree presentation. Now, in terms of imaging, when you have five speakers at your disposal, the center imaging is going to be, well, largely perfect because, well, there's a center speaker right in the middle. That being said, the center speaker has a lot more in common with its surround brothers and not the front mains. And I actually think that that's a little bit of an issue here because like I said, at higher volumes, the center channel can get a bit like this, like it's trying a little bit too hard. And I have to imagine that with the larger center, I know it doesn't come in this package, but I have to imagine with the larger center, it's going to be a little bit more seamless across the front, but I am nitpicking just a little bit here because again, this is a sub $500 or in some cases, a sub $200 speaker package. So we, we have to temper our expectations just a little bit. But all in all, again, for, for what it is, and for my first foray back into home theater, I have to tell you, had this system existed when I left home theater about four or five years ago, I may not have left it because there's a lot to like and there's even more to love here. So with all that said, what don't I like about it? The biggest caveat that I have to the Yamo S803 system is that in this configuration, I think they've picked the wrong center channel. I would have liked to have seen the larger center channel so that at least the front three speakers had the absolute best chance for coherence across the front. And let's face it, a center channel is the most used speaker in any home theater setup. And as a result, that center channel needs to be larger. Another thing that I wish was present with this system was the inclusion of a subwoofer because let's face it, the 803 system is going to be attractive to first time home theater enthusiasts. And likely the last thing that any first timer wants to worry about is what do I pair with what? But I do understand that in order to bring it in at this price point, the sub probably had to be an a la carte extra. Apart from that, I did mention in the sound portion of this review that if your receiver is powerful enough or if your separate system is powerful enough, the dynamics and the ability for this system to come alive is all the more enhanced. But if you have a lower power receiver, you may find yourself reaching for that volume just a little bit more in order to kind of coax the maximum amount of impact out of these loudspeakers. So mine is potentially looking at a new larger center channel, the need for a subwoofer, and making sure that your receiver or amplifier has the requisite power to pull the most out of the speaker system. There really isn't much to get upset about with the Yamo S803 system because it's just, it's really, really good value for money. So what other speaker systems in and around this price point compete favorably with it? And the main one that I'm talking about is the Definitive Technology Pro Cinema series of home theater in a box systems. 
Now these are 5.1 systems. Yes, they do come with a subwoofer as standard and it is a great subwoofer. It really is. DevTech is known for making fantastic subwoofers and the one that they include in their Pro Cinema packages is exemplary. It may not be good enough for the largest rooms in your house, but for most people, it's enough to get by. Now the Pro Cinema system is different than the Yamo that we've discussed in this review because they are decidedly smaller loudspeakers. They're much more along the lines of say, Bose in the sense that they're little jewel cubes with a separate subwoofer. But if you're looking for an even more minimal footprint in your living room or less of a visual impact than even the Yamos, the Pro Cinema systems may be something to consider. Outside of all of that, I have to be completely honest with you. It has been a long time since I have purchased something sight unseen and it has been even longer that a decision like that has paid off as well as I feel it has with the Yamo S803 HCS speaker system because while not perfect, I don't know if there is actually a better home theater value on the market right now. When you consider all of the things that the Yamo 803 system bring to bear, including its just physical appearance and the fact that it's just one of the more stylish loudspeakers on the market today, full stop, let alone one that is at this affordable a price point, it becomes very hard not to fall in love with this tiny little affordable speaker package. And I'm afraid that's exactly what I've done and why I'm not returning mine. Yes, I had every intention of demoing it and maybe returning it, but that time has long since passed because I'm using this as my budget reference. And I do think that a lot of people getting into home theater for the very first time should consider the Yamo S803 HCS home cinema speaker system as their jumping off point. So that's it guys, that is my review of the Yamo S803 HCS speaker system. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Obviously this is a very popular system because many of you have emailed, DM'd, or otherwise left comments on our other Yamo video saying that these systems are flying off the shelves. So if you are interested, I would highly recommend you probably pull that trigger and get one now because who knows how long they will be in stock. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Ring the bell so that you turn on notifications so that you are notified when new videos drop. We publish every Tuesday and Friday. Yes, we are back on our normal schedule. Follow me on Instagram at Recovering Audiophile, where we share a bunch of behind the scenes stuff from time to time. If you are interested in behind the scenes stuff, including things that may not make the edit, on these reviews or conversations between Christy and myself, uh, consider becoming a member of this channel and you can click join right next to subscribe down below and get all of the details on that. So anyway, that's it for me guys. I hope you're all having a wonderful start to your week. And remember, the only person that has to like the sound of your system is you. So happy listening everybody. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.